Hi everyone, how you doing? Um, someone asked me to go over lesson 4.3, exercise 4.4. So this isn't in your book, it's added again um, by a previous instructor. So what they want, what we want to know is, um, what do we have to change? Okay, again in our table here. Uh, what are our new conditions, okay? Our new normal operating conditions if we're going to increase our production by 10%. Okay, so production rate was normal prior to the increase and now they want to go up 10%. And so what they want, and this is going to be your answer sheet, all right? And if you're taking the test, this is something similar to that. So as a bonus points for you. So you would list in order here, what are the things that are going to change? And then we're going to go through that. Now, before we do this, I want to go to the worksheet. Um, the, I mean, before I go to the worksheet, I want to go to the flow diagram. Okay, so here it is. Let's talk through why, what we would change in the order. Now, what I would change is a little different in the order. It's a little different than what they have in the answer sheet, although pretty much uh, the the general overall situation is going to work out the same. Okay, so let's talk about this. Now, if I want to increase my steam production, that means I want FE26 to be increased by 10%. So this is FE26 here, okay? I have to get my E1, the exchanger, right? I need hotter liquid to come through here to cause the boiler feed water to boil, to have a higher rate of boiling, okay? To boil more of the boiler feed water and at a higher, you know, we're just going to be weighing at a little higher temperature, right? We have more volume. Okay, so the first thing I would do is I would increase my FE24, FT24, right, which is the flow, the hot pressure stream going through E1. Now, based on our balance, we know that would affect FT25 or FIC25 and FT, FI22, okay? So these would all increase by 10%. So we would be causing more heat to come to the boiler feed water and boil this. So we would start decreasing our level a little, right? So we would have to increase our level. I mean, we would, we would maintain our level, I'm sorry, but what we want to do is we want to replace that water that's boiling away now, right, the 10% extra that we're trying to get. So we're going to increase the boiler feed water. So this flow will increase, okay? And then we want to try to maintain the actual level here, same as usual. So we would have the level at whatever it is, okay? But we're going to have to match this output because of the three element boiler water uh, control because the level is dependent upon the flow output, which is going to increase by 10%, and the flow in, okay? And this is cascaded, remember? So the level tells this valve, FIC23, how much to open. So we're going to look at the output of the level, and we're going to say the level, the, we want to maintain the constant level, but we want to increase this by 10%, so whatever that factor is, to call, it's going to be the same as whatever this factor is because that's the output. This output is really coming from the level. Now, our pressure, we're going to just maintain the same, okay? Because we really should not have an issue here because we're going to be consuming the pressure, I mean the steam, so we shouldn't have any pressure building up here. So this will be the same, okay? So let's talk now to the worksheet. Let's go to the worksheet, all right? So this is the worksheet that's given to you. Okay, so if we increase... We'll, and we'll go back and fill out that other sheet. If we increase the heat source by 10%, so here they do Fi22 first. Okay, that's the coolant around the supplier, so the around the reactor. That increases by 10%, which means this number here, okay, increases by 10%. Okay, so 10% or 0.1 of that. Well, 1.1 we're going to really say. We could do 1.1 if we're multiplying that. Okay, let me make that big box a little bit bigger. Um, is equal to 71,500. Okay, so we're going to put that number in there. Oops, we have to add text. Okay, 71,500. Okay, so that's that number. Now, this is FI22 is also a controller, right? Or I mean the output on the instrumentation, I'm sorry. So now we just put this new number here, right? So the ratio, again, is we take what is the current number? The current uh, factor is 70% on the indicator at 65. This is the normal operating conditions, but we've upped it. So we have our ratio. And this new number is 71,500. So we put that in there. And when we do the math, we find that this number is equal to um, 77%. Okay, so that goes up, which makes sense. Okay, all right. Next, now if we increased the flow, and I said this before, based on our 
our balance, right? Fi24 plus is equal to Fi22. See, I would do this first because again, I have to heat, I'm, I need to heat more. So for me, I would increase this first and then that would make all of these go up. But again, everything goes by 10%. So we're going to put in there text again, 10, whoops, 10%, which is the same as multiplying by a factor of 1.1, right? And then that increases the flow to 53,900, 53,900, okay? And then again, the instrument indication on here is going to be the same type of situation, right? We always take the first ratio is the normal operating state. 70% is to 49,000 as whatever percent is to this new number, 59, 53,900, sorry. So that number is equal to, it's going to be the same, 77%, okay? It should be. Then the output of the controller now, because remember FIC is a controller, FIC25 is a controller. So normally it's running a 50% valve opening at 49,000. So at our new number, right, we're going to put that new number in again, and that's 53,900. So our percentage of our valve opening now in this particular instance is uh, 55%, okay? Do that math, check it, make sure you got it. Now we're just going to total. We're, we can do 10% of the output of what the pounds should be normally, which is 10% of this 1140, but we could just add them all together, right? We can just put them together. We know balance wise that 71,500 plus 5,300, 53, I'm sorry, 53,900 should equal the new number. And that is um, 125,400. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, and if you take 1.1, I'm sorry, 1.1 times this 1 1 fourth at 114,000, you'll get the same number. Okay, so again, what is the instrument indicating? So our instrument is at 70% for this normal flow of 114,000. So now we're going to add, I mean, we're going to just take the ratio again at 124,500. So now our number reading out of that instrumentation is... 77%. Okay. Now let's go to the next page. Here, okay, we have the steam production. So again, this is going to be increased. It's 10%. So it's increased by 400 pounds. All right. We're going to put that number in there. All right. And then the water flow increases because of our other balance. All right. The other balance is the steam plus the uh, boiler blowdown. Okay. And um, we have FIC 23 equals FE 26 plus the blowdown. Okay, so that's where we get these new numbers. And the um, FIC would increase by 400 as well because we're not going to change the blowdown in this particular instance. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Let me fix this so you can see that number. Okay, so the current value would be the 4400. Oops, keep forgetting to add text. 4400. You can't see that plus the 400, and that equals the 4400, I mean 484800, okay? So that's where we get this new number. Again, what's our instrument indicating? So we go back to our normal operating conditions table at 70%, 40, at 4400 at 70%, and here again our ratio and our new number is 4800, what is the percentage reading again? This is just teaching you ratios again, okay? And again, it's all mathematical, it's linear. That is equal to 76.4. Okay, we're going to put it in like that. Let me fix this too. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, and then the output again, because FIC 23 is a controller, at 4400 it's normally open 50%, so what is the new output from the valve going to be? At our new number of 4800, and that will equal 54 0.5. So let's put that in there. Okay. Now we decided that the PIC 21 would not change. Okay. But the level. Now there's no change and we don't want to change the level again. We want to keep that constant, but we're going to just change our output and we're going to match it to what that FIC 23 is because actually the output, remember again, is cascaded. So the 54.5 is what's being fed to this controller, okay, based on the control, because it is a, um, a control loop that is uh, cascaded, okay? So now, that's the worksheet. 
All right, so you just take these numbers and you're going to translate them over to this one, the original one. Sorry, let's go back to this one. So here you're going to put in the order that they did that. Again, I would do FIC 24 first because, again, I'm outputting my, I need 10% more output from my reactor because that's the hot material that's heating it, right? And then you can add the other two in and then you would subsequently add those other three, okay? So FIC you could do 24 or the 22 like they did in the book, then 25 and then 24 or 22. And then here again, you're going to change your steam output and then and uh, follows with your uh, boiler feed water to make up that extra amount of water and the level is going to stay the same. So then you would just fill these numbers in. Okay, so they should match um, the solution sheet that you get. Okay, and um, that's what you would just fill out there. Okay, so that's where we are right now. And... I want to just go back to this again. So um, it just kind of um, it's just a mathematical setup. We're just increasing flow, and then what would we do first? And I believe we would increase this flow first because if we increase this here, right, it's not the controller and it's not the output from the tank. So that's just the only difference that I would do. Let me just quickly go to um, a sol the solutions and find that for you really quick. Okay, the worksheet answer just so you can see that. And it's in the solutions. Okay, so here would be your answer. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, let's go back to that one. So this is what you would write in that little section I just showed you. Your coolant flow would increase, your FIC, which is FI22, FIC25 would increase, and then the balance. But here again, I would do this first because that's coming directly out of the out of the uh, reactor, and that's where your hot's coming to the to E1. And then because of that, you're going to have to increase your water intake because to boiler feed or boiler feed water because you're going to be consuming that, right? And then you're going to increase your um, flow as well. So all the numbers should match up here, okay? So if you have any questions, just let me know, all right? So it should just match this as far as this is concerned, okay? And that's about it. Thank you so much, you guys. Let me know if you have any problems.